I started in January of 97 and uh, came here after working at Ball State for um, Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana for 19 years there as well. When I sit and reflect, when I came here, many of um, this next year's um, um, the, the, the freshman class of um, fall of 16, they weren't even born yet. UWL has always had a, a high visibility. So I noticed them from afar, if you will. Um, the, the opportunity came when uh, um, Dick Kohler um, announced his retirement in uh, 96, that, uh, um, that, that fall, uh, we hired a graduate assistant, Mark Ramaker, who used to be uh, the student body vice president. Um, and he came in, he was an assistant hall director and worked um, in the area that I oversaw. And uh, um, so I talked with him about this and he said, I think you would fit in well. And so I applied and um, came here and I have not regretted it since. No one comes to UWL to live in our residence halls but 98% of the first year students do. The student problems, student issues are still the same. They change a little bit. There's many more students coming to campus with mental health issues and, and uh, a medicated uh, um, society. Um, but yet, they still who are striving for the same questions. Who am I? What do I believe? How will I fare? Um, what am I going to be do doing after I graduate? And those things, those questions have remained the same. The process of resolving them and addressing them is what has really changed. Um, while we have made very good progress relative to social justice issues on the campus, we still have a ways to go. And uh, um, um, I'd like to have ex been able to explore different ways, even though we did reach out and we did partner and the university as a whole has really tried to enhance diversity on the campus, that's still an issue. Um, in particular, trying to get uh, um, our African American students to come and uh, to feel safe and comfortable here. And uh, um, I think we've done a fairly good job with our GLBT students. Um, our international student populations has, has fallen down in the last couple of years and we need to increase that. Um, I'm not one in, to make legacies, you know. I think I did my job and, and did it well, but to be put up on a pedestal, I, I don't see me standing on anything like that. And, uh, um, um, and I've, I've had the privilege of being the director. I've had a wonderful support staff with a, from uh, the central staff, our office support staff, our housekeepers, our maintenance people, our hall directors, um, our student staff, our student leaders. Um, um, I, I'm pleased that I have been able to work with others to create an environment where people can thrive and people can grow and hopefully I've modeled some good things relative to uh, my own personal belief of the importance of giving back, of being service to others. Uh, what I'm really looking forward to is uh, spending time with my family um, and, and going on and doing some other things. And I'm not quite sure what they are, but I know that um, I'll be participating in some a variety of volunteer acts, hopefully in, improve my golf game, uh, do quite a bit of traveling, and. Uh, I'm really very happy if I can get dirt underneath my fingernails with gardening and uh, um, uh, just yard work and stuff along those lines. I may even sleep in to maybe 6.30, so I'm going to live the high life there. <laughs>